Oh. Hi, my name is Isabel Kukorski and I'm here to talk to you about my paper on progress towards pharmacotherapy for cannabis use disorder. Cannabis is the most widely used and variably regulated drug in the world, with increasing trends of use being reported in the US, Australia, Asia and Africa. 23 states in the United States now have medical cannabis laws, with four of those states legalizing cannabis for recreational use. As debate continues around the medical benefits of cannabis and the potential harms of recreational use, a subset of the approximate 5% of the world's population who regularly use cannabis will develop a cannabis use disorder, characterized by tolerance, craving, and a withdrawal syndrome. The prevalence of cannabis use disorders has also increased significantly by approximately 20% with 4.2 million people reporting past year dependence or abuse in 2013. As prevalence of CUD increases, so does demand for treatment. To date, psychosocial treatment remains the primary approach utilised despite high non-response and relapse rates of up to 70%. Medications may be a useful adjunct to aid in successful treatment outcomes. However, there are currently no approved medications for the treatment of cannabis use disorder. The strategies that have been explored include agonist substitution, antagonists or modulators of non-cannabinoid neurotransmitter systems, assessing the effects on different aspects of cannabis use. For example, intoxication, withdrawal, self-administration. Research to date is limited to human laboratory studies and small open label or placebo controlled clinical trials. The most promising are the newer agonist therapies such as nabiximols and nabilone and the GABAergic drug, gabapentin, which have been found to reduce measures of withdrawal and relapse, warranting further clinical investigation. Pilot data and theoretical support for cannabinoid CBD, make it an important cannabinoid to evaluate for the treatment of cannabis use disorders with comorbid psychoactive and anxiety disorders. Different approaches yet to be explored include the inhibition of endocannabinoid catabolic enzymes fatty acids and mine hydrolase, FAAH, and monoacylglycerol lipase, which reduces cannabinoid withdrawal in animal models with cannabinoid dependence. FAAH inhibitors appear to lack the abuse liability associated with cannabinoid agonists, but there is still much research to do in this area. 